There are three looping structures available in C++, all of which are used to execute the code block multiple times. The while loop runs through the code block only if its condition is true, and will continue looping for as long as the condition remains true. Bear in mind that the condition is only checked at the start of each iteration. The do while loop works in the same way as the while loop, except that it checks the condition after the code block. It will therefore always run through the code block at least once. Notice that this loop ends with a semicolon. The for loop is used to run through a code block a specific number of times. It uses three parameters. The first one initializes a counter, and is always executed once before the loop. The second parameter holds the condition for the loop, and is checked before each iteration. The third parameter contains the increment of the counter, and is executed at the end of each iteration. The for loop has several variations. For starters, the first and third parameters can be split into several statements, by using the comma operator. There is also the option of leaving out any one of the parameters, making the loop go on forever. Just as with the conditional if statement, the curly brackets for the loops can be left out, if there is only one statement in the code block. There are two jump statements that can be used inside loops, break and continue. The break keyword ends the loop structure, and continue skips the rest of the current iteration, and continues at the beginning of the next iteration. A third jump statement that may be useful to know of is go to, which performs an unconditional jump to a specified label. This instruction is generally never used, since it tends to make the flow of execution difficult to follow.